Good afternoon. Well, it's afternoon for me. And I'm going to read from a column that I wrote in 1981, April of 1981, and it is called, Oh, Go Fly a Kite. Mommy, are you awake? Muffled words were spoken inches from my pillow, tickling my sleeping ear. Mommy, can we do it today? Uh, do what? I blinked again and again, trying to focus and recognize the speaker. The night's cobwebs were not easily jarred away. Oh, Mommy, Mommy, remember that kite thing? Can we fly it? In my muddled condition, I agreed to fly the kite thing. It turned out to be a big mistake. I should have checked the weather first before agreeing to the project. I found out too late there wasn't enough breeze blowing to make a lighted match flicker. The lack of wind forced me to explain the facts of kite to our young children. I'm sorry, we can't fly the kite today, kids. There's no wind. But you promised, Mommy, you promised. Said Robbie. Three sets of teary blue eyes looked up at their mother, the traitor. Kites need wind to fly. I can't make them stick up in the sky. The wind lifts them and holds them up. I just hold the string. Their faces told me they didn't believe a word I said. They probably thought I was backing out and making up a story. I had to show them the kite wouldn't fly. I took their new tailless kite and raced around the yard. The purple triangle fluttered a foot above my outstretched arm, desperately clinging to the trickle of wind I created for it. It's flying! It's flying! Robbie yelled. A cheer went up from the little crowd of onlookers. Oh no, that's not the way a kite is supposed to go. I panted. It's supposed to fly way up in the clouds with the wind. It's not supposed to fly because mommy is running around the yard like crazy. But it was flying, said Robbie. It was flying right above your head. You just didn't see it because your back was turned. Maybe the wind will be better later, I said. Yeah, sure, their leader said. We'll get Daddy to fly the kite later. He can do it. He loves us. You're too busy. Robbie took the kite from me and led the others back to the garage. They marched slowly away from me with their heads bowed and their feet scuffing the gravel. I wanted to fly the kite, kids. I really did. I love kites. It's the wind. I tagged meekly behind, head bowed, shoulders slumped, kicking at an innocent stone. The, wind, the darn wind stole my mother's magic. So there you have one of the early days with our family when we only had three children at that time. I hope you enjoy my reading today.